Hey, I'm Matthew Rollins. Welcome to my show. So when you start a business, how do you know when to get out? That's a good question. Um, I'm not a pro by any means. I've started a couple different businesses and most of them didn't end the way I wanted to, but each time I learned something. And so I think back to when I started my magazine, I started a social magazine in Southeast Portland for a neighborhood called East Moreland. It was right by Reed College there, if you know the area. So I didn't, it was, it was crazy. I didn't know, and I lived in Almsville, a little town outside of Salem, Oregon. So Monday I would call and set up all my appointments for advertisers and then I didn't have a magazine at this point, so I, did, I couldn't even show them my magazine. So I would, Tuesday through Friday, I would drive like an hour and a half up to Portland, and I would meet with all these businesses, and I didn't have any connections. A lot of people that had these magazines and nice neighborhoods, they lived in the neighborhood, so they knew all the people that were there, and they had a nice house, and so they already knew a landscaper and a remodeler and a real estate broker, you know, and a vet and all these people that would want to advertise in the neighborhood uh, magazine but uh, i knew no one so it was like cold knock knocking cold calling setting up these closing in-person sales and it it was it built so much grit but i would drive up like four four days a week and to build this magazine and they wanted you to build it so i built it, it was my own business but i built it under a publishing company that had so we we're kind of like independent contractors but it was almost like a franchise Anyways, uh, I learned a ton, but it was every day I would go up and I, I would, um, I would have these meetings with business owners, and I was not great at sales, you know. I, I, but I was just persistent. It took me. They wanted to do it in four months. I think it took me a year to build the magazine, <clears throat> so I just wouldn't quit. Um, I just wouldn't give up. But uh, yeah, I knew no one, like I said, and so, but it it taught me some things. The whole experience did, and you know, in it, I was. I, I don't have a desire to work alone. I don't have a desire to be this entrepreneur that does everything alone. But I, for whatever reason, I keep finding myself in positions where I'm, I'm starting something alone and then I'm working it alone. And so I'm so relational and I get so much kind of kinetic energy and excited energy and passion to pursue things from connection with people. So um, that was a position where I ended up really doing it all alone, like all, finding advertisers for the magazine to make the magazine profitable and to make it a profitable business. Um, and, you know, we there was a group of people in the Willamette Valley that, w that would do it. So we would meet up once a month or something. But <clears throat> yeah, I realized like, man, one, it's it's hard to go it alone. Like, it's it's oftentimes as entrepreneurs we find ourselves alone just by de facto uh, of of doing what we do, but it by the end of it once I'd done all the hard work for a year of building all these advertising contracts that lasted 12, 24, 36 months, by the end of it, when I launched, I was just so burnt out. I had nothing left in the tank. Like the hard part was done, and now I could start growing the business and building it into a really <clears throat> profitable income, but I just, I sold it because I had nothing left in the tank. And I think a couple of reasons was, was that what I, I think a couple of reasons for that was one, I did it alone. And so I just, I had no camaraderie and no teamwork when there was a burden, when there was stress and anxiety, I had no one to share that with no one to take the load off with me off of me or to collaborate. So, um, I did it alone. And I think, um, the, the immense amount of energy required to create something from nothing. It's just, wow, it's, it's immense. I mean, if any of you have like started your own business before, whether it's successful or not, you just know the sheer amount of energy and emotional energy it requires. Um, I think sometimes more than skill or more than being like brilliant at, at business or a genius or having a great idea it's like the, just the emotional skill set of of like not quitting of 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 having like when you're discouraged and defeated and depressed of like knowing how to dust yourself off and reset and re-engage and find hope and optimism and, and belief that it can work so i think like having a strong emotional mainframe and having the capacity to take a beating every day and stay at it that that is almost an indicator i think of a of an entrepreneur that will 
stay the course of time persistence but um you know yeah so i i learned a few things don't go it alone i want i'm like I, for myself i'm like man i need to find people and it's still hard hard to find people that want to <clears throat> build take a risk and step out and do something with me and build so um i haven't mastered that but even just finding a supportive network finding groups like um i found this this community called click funnels with russell brunson and i found entrepreneur communities and networks at times where i'm like oh, okay we're all in this together even though we're across the country so you know if you're listening to this and you're like alone and, and lonely like find it find a tribe find a crew find a group um that maybe it's a facebook group or a, a group that meets a few times a year but don't go it alone um the other thing i learned was just the sheer depth of emotional fortitude required to build something and i think yeah i think that i so going forward um counting the cost and but maybe if i knew the cost i wouldn't do it you know so maybe that's sometimes good that we can't count the cost but um yeah making sure that you know my encouragement for you would be like hey if you if you're starting a, a business making sure that you at least like i think of survivor you know the tv show reality show where the, the probably most of those people tried to fatten up as much as possible so that during survivor when they lost 30 or 40 pounds um they were kind of pre prepared for it so you know if you're going in to start uh, a new business like just the sheer emotional energy not that it's going to be depressing and overwhelming but i can be a joy but just the immense amount of energy that is going to require it so making sure that you're powered up that you're like if you're going into a season of grinding and building that you're like well rested and well supported and powered up like <laughs> if you're going into it burnt out anxious and drained woof, um that's a lot so yeah i and i and i think i it helped me going forward <clears throat> because i began to understand um i began to understand when i would look at opportunities or business opportunities i wouldn't necessarily think oh that's a scam maybe i'd look at network marketing or real being a real estate agent or something and you know sometimes they people like in network marketing they sell the best version like hey you could make like six figures doing this like people are doing it and some people look at that as like oh that's a pyramid skin that's a pyramid scheme that's a scam it's like well actually probably it's probably not a scam it's just that yeah these network marketers have, have poured their lifeblood into this for the last two years or three years and now they're making six figures and and that's just what's required so i think i understand like oh if i'm looking at an opportunity or someone's pitching a business idea to me um, or, or it's like, Hey, you know, come on in. We want you to join the team and be one of our salespeople and you can make six figures. Like, absolutely. I, be I believe that's probably true. And I also know what it requires that the, the Im immense amount of energy to, to build. So I know that's not like a perfectly packaged thing. I was just reflecting on, what it was like to build a magazine from nothing, what it was like to get totally burnt out in the process, sell it and move on. And a lot of times in between my entrepreneurial endeavors, there's been about a year, a year, year and a half of just kind of like doing a job and just recharging. Um, and I think there's been times where it's like, I'm never doing something like that again. And then inevitably I find myself needing to create something and try something. So it's a disease. No, it's not a disease. Um, so I'm curious, like if you're watching this and this at all resonates, would you subscribe to the channel? I want to, I want to stay, I'm doing this not to just talk into the ether, but I want to build a relationship with a tribe of people that are like me, that have, that are building businesses, that have had some success, that are figuring it out, that want to grow. Uh, that's why I'm doing this. And so, um, would you subscribe? Would you, would you let me know, Hey, I'm, I'm here, I'm watching, I'm, I'm engaged because I want to hear from you. I'm going to be times when we posting questions like what do you think about this what do you think about that because i'm looking like where where are we at as a as a crew where are we at as a tribe so uh sending you love if you're watching this and uh stay tuned